Okay, this is a brief summary of the nervous tissue. The nervous tissue in the human body is one of four tissues that we have. The nervous tissue is the control tissue. It controls the other three tissues. There are two main groups of cells that make up the nervous tissue. We have the neurons, which are the main cells. This is a neuron right over here. And then we have the support cells. Sometimes they are called neuroglia. We will briefly look at the anatomy of a neuron right here. This is the um, meninges. Meninges, node of Ranvier, myelin sheath, axon, dendrites, nessus body, nucleoplasm, nucleus, axon terminal. I'll take them over again. These brownish ones here, these are axon terminals, the end of one neuron. These are the dendrites, the beginning of a neuron. All of this portion here is called the soma or cell body. The structures we see in here, the bluish structures we see in here, they are called nasal body. This is the nucleus. The substance that contains the nasal body and the nucleus we call the nucleoplasm. Now, the, where this axon terminal meets this dendrite, this place here we call it a synapse. A synapse is where two uh, neurons meet. The axon terminal is the end of one neuron. It normally connects with the beginning of another neuron, which is the dendrite. So one more time, dendrite, axon terminal, cell body, nasal bodies, nucleoplasm, nucleus, axon, nucleus of the Schwann cell, myelin sheath, node of Ranvier, node of Ranvier, and this will be the meninges. So these are the main structural components of a of a neuron. Um, the, the, the functions for each of these, you can find that in your study materials or your laboratory manuals. Next, um, neurons are classified functionally into three groups. Neurons are classified functionally into three groups. One more time, the neurons are the main conducting cells of the nervous system. Functionally, they are classified into three groups. We have the sensory neuron. It takes information from the external environment to the central nervous system. We have the motor neuron. It takes information from the uh, central nervous system to effector organs, for example, muscles. And then we have the interneuron that kind of say connects the sensory neuron and the motor neuron. So based on that, we have our model here. This one, the yellowish one, this is the sensory neurons. They're taking information from the skin to the central nervous system, specifically uh, over here, this is the spinal cord. We'll talk about that some other time. Then this is the motor neuron here. It takes information from the central nervous system to an effector organ. The effector organ here is a muscle tissue. Then the green one here, this is the interneuron. Interneuron. The interneuron is more like a relay. It takes information. It ensures that it serves as some kind of a relay or a bridge between information that uh, comes in from the sensory neuron and then that is connected eventually to the motor neuron. So sensory neuron, yellow, interneuron green and motor neuron um, this other color right here that attaches to the muscle fiber then this is a neuromuscular junction neuromuscular junction a neuromuscular junction has three main anatomical subdivisions. 
This is the axon terminal or the neuron, if you prefer. So this is the axon terminal is the end of the neuron. So this is the first part, the axon terminal, which is the neuron. This is the second part, the um, muscle cell. A neuromuscular junction is where a neuron and a muscle meet. This is a neuron, this is a muscle. Neuron, muscle. So a neuromuscular junction is where a neuron and a muscle actually meet. Now, in between the, the, um, the neuron and the muscle, there's a space. The space over here, this is called the synaptic cleft. This is called the synaptic cleft. So anatomically, we have the neuron represented here by the axon terminal, the synaptic cleft right in here, and then the muscle right over here. So we have synaptic cleft, muscle, and then here we have the neuron. Now, the neuron is also called the presynaptic cell. The muscle here is called the postsynaptic cell. Postsynaptic cell. Presynaptic cell. Postsynaptic cell. The reason why they are called pre and post is we use the synaptic portion here as our reference. If it comes before the synaptic cleft, it will be called pre. If it comes after the synaptic cleft, it will be called post. Now, inside the axon terminal, you see these are vesicles here. These are vesicles. Inside the vesicles, you have a neurotransmitter. Specifically, the neurotransmitter here is acetylcholine, ACH, acetylcholine, ACH. It is the ACH that is released from here. It will go past the synaptic cleft. It will make contact with the muscle, and then the muscle will actually contract. So you cover this. Uh, you cover that in lecture. So uh, one more time, the neuromuscular junction is where a neuron and a muscle actually meet. It has three main structural components: the presynaptic cell, which is the neuron specifically the axon terminal, the postsynaptic cell, which is the muscle, and the synaptic cleft, synaptic cleft. The neuron is called presynaptic because it comes before the synaptic cleft. The muscle is called postsynaptic because it comes after the synaptic cleft. So this is, um, this is the end of our brief review of the nervous tissue.